Okotoks Alberta ultra-distance runner Dave Proctor finished Thursday, July 21st, what has long been considered an unbreakable record, bettering Al Howie's 7,200-kilometer run across Canada in just 72 days from St. John's, Newfoundland to Victoria, B.C. Proctor, in his second attempt at the Cross Canada run bettered Howie's 1991 performance by more than five days, finishing in just over 66 days. Did they bring you any pie at least? Eh? <laughs> Come on, Mom. They wouldn't let me take it on the plane. Just, just kidding. <laughs> my boy! <laughs> Way to go, Dave. running across Canada. How does that feel? Feels tiring. <laughs> I feel like I'm on top of the world, but I'm feeling so blessed to have this opportunity and grateful. I've just seen the most beautiful country in the world, and I suggest every Canadian to go do the very same thing. Don't run it, you know, get in a vehicle and drive it or go see a part of the country you haven't seen. But I just feel like if I could do that, I could do bloody well anything, you know? Dave, when you um, left in 2018 to go uh, from this side over um, the Rockies and that for the Cross Canada trip, you talked about getting enough calories and that you end up looking like a snake that just ate a whole animal because you can't get enough. Yeah. Did you uh, figure out a great way to uh, <laughs> get your calories on this trip? I, I, I almost found a perfect way, and that was um, that Lana Ray, my crew, and, 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 and every other crew member I had stopped at every bakery across the country, and I ate my way from one bakery to the next. And I still lost, you know, maybe... 16 or 18 pounds overall but i think i would have lost a lot more if i didn't stop at bakeries so with cinnamon buns and scones you know i'm still not sick of it but uh, i am looking forward to eating a salad tomorrow <laughs> how significant is it to stop at uh, the statue here on your left? Oh, you know i grew up in canada like most children and uh, canadians and you know outside of my mom and dad who are the most exemplary people that I've ever known, you know, there's Terry Fox. And Terry Fox has taught us, all of us, every Canadian, you know, just what grit and determination are and, you know, that you could really do anything as long as you just try and give it your all. And, you know, I think that we've all taken great lessons from the great Terry Fox. And when I was running across Canada, I looked up ahead and I'd see Terry struggling and I said you know if he's struggling what's my excuse I've got no excuses Dave you, you chatted with Terry's brother Fred yeah. uh, at one point you were able to share a moment what was that like yeah. yeah you know it was I think it was it was perfect it was perfect timing because I was really struggling in Ontario in northern Ontario because it took me 20 days to run across Ontario and to understand that there was that level of suffering, and, and, and Fred saw it firsthand, um, you know, made me only feel that, you know, that I could stick, stick it out and, and, and do anything. Um, if Terry Fox could have finished across Canada, if cancer didn't take him, he would have. There's no question. And not only that, he would probably get here and turn around and go back and do it the other way. You know, that man is the strongest man that I've ever heard of. And, and, and so, no, it's, it was perfect timing. And Fred spoke to me in a time with an amount of grace 
that I've 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 never experienced. Um, the Fox family are truly special people. How does it feel to uh, take Al Howie? This is an un, what was considered an unbeatable record. Mm. To beat it by, I think, six days, the 72 days across Canada, 7,200 kilometers. How does that feel? Oh, well, we, I, I, so I broke Al, um, Al Howie's record by five days, uh, 67 days, 10 hours, something. I don't know. I'm terrible with math right now. My brain's not even working. But, you know, they're... They're, they're a whole array of heroes, and Al Howie is, is a hero of mine. And that man's grit and determination, um, I, I feel very honored to be able to stand here with the heroes that I you know, have looked always looked up to. Al Howie stood here. Al Howie has a bench over here that I just can't wait to go sit with. <laughs> and, you know, I'm going to go and sit there, and I'm going to have a moment with Al. And I'm going to thank him for setting the example of what humans are really, truly capable of. And I wouldn't be here without people setting an example like Al did back in 1991. You spent a lot of time alone on the, on the road there across Canada, of course. And um, when runners do that, they, they solve world problems and, and ask question, worldly questions. Did you have a chance to kind of mentally write your uh, biography during that trip? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that there were a lot of... I don't even know where to start when it comes to that. You know, ultimately, I did a lot of soul searching, and I feel that the only way to truly be athletically sound and strong and great is to be personally free of, of a lot of the demons that we all suffer with. And being out on the trans Highway, you had nothing but time than to figure your own stuff out. And I, I'm, I'm very lucky to have that time. And I think that my performance definitely um, shows that I worked out through a lot of things out there and I am standing 10 feet taller today because of it. I keep hearing this idea of the self-made man and it's a complete fallacy. You know, there is no such thing. And every, every behind every strong man and woman um, that do something truly hard, there is a massive team of capable, strong individuals that are lifting that person up. And, you know, starting with, you know, my crew chief and my girlfriend, Lana Ray, you know, she lifted this, this project. Um, my parents, my mom and dad, um, my family, my kids, um, you know, my kids are my rock, and I, I can't wait to get back home and, and, and squeeze them and, 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 and tell them all the stories about what I've, what I truly saw and, and witnessed out here, and that, I want to, I've told them time and time again, but I know, I know now that if they wanted to do anything in the world, as long as they stuck to it, as long as they're willing to spend decades sacrificing everything they could they could achieve anything they could walk on the moon they could find a cure for cancer they could run across Canada and as long as you're willing to put the work in it will come back to you hey athletically speaking now that you've uh, got this aerobic base that's just monstrous mm. <laughs> you have any plans for uh, competitive ultra running oh yes but not yet um, <laughs> You know, I'm not done yet. Um, there are a number of things that I still want to achieve in my running life. I, I've learned a lot out here, not just physically building this athletic base because this is a pretty strong athletic base that I, 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 I have a hard time even understanding what you know what level I'm at when it comes to. You know, there's fit, there's really fit, there's ungodly fit, and then there's something. And I, I don't tire at the end of these days. It's just absolutely incredible. But yet, here I am. And so I'd be a fool not to use it doing something really hard and, again, surprising myself.